All right, okay. Welcome to this lesson with me, Teacher Kamanga. In our today's lesson, we're going to devise a topic uh, which is coming from uh, measurements. Now, we'll look at uh, one of the measuring instruments which we call the Vinyakali Pass. Now, in this case, the question is saying um, figure B1.1 shows part of the Vinyakali Pass. Okay, so we are seeing this is a part of the Vinyakali Pass that we are seeing there is a main scale. And also there is a venous scale. If you remember very well in our previous lesson on the measurements, I mentioned to say if we want to get the readings from the venous calipers, we first get the readings from the main scale, which is the upper part, then we also come now to the venous scale. From the venous scale, do not forget to multiply with the accuracy, which is 1 over 100 centimeters or 0 0.01 centimeters. Okay, so this is very very important so the number that you multiply with this accuracy is the number that you get from the venous scale okay so now the question can be how do we get the readings from the many scale okay so let's look at how we get the readings from the many scale so from the many scale uh you find that you have been given the leadings for instance in this case we have eight there okay we have eight and we have nine there okay so these two numbers they are going to help us to determine what number will fall before this part. Okay, so now what we need to understand is, is that uh, the number that we need to get from the many scale is the number or the last digit before the venous scale starts. So from the many scale, we're getting the last digits before the venous scale starts. So if you are able to see nicely, the venous scale starts from there. So meaning that the last digit that we are seeing before that lead line is the digit that we are going to get. So now how do we know that digit? So we have 8 and we have 9, meaning the number before 8 is 7. Okay. So already we know that our first figure, they should be 7 point something. So we're going to look at the divisions between 8 and 9. So divisions, if we can count nicely, there are about 10 of them. So meaning that each division is a 0 0.1. So, for instance, if we have 8 there up to 9 there, we have 0, um, 8.1, 8.2, 8.3, 8.4, 8.5, 8.6, 8.7, 8.9, then we have 9 there. Okay, so meaning that since this is our last digit that we're able to see from there, that one it means that is 7.9. Okay, 7.9. Point nine. So this is the last digit that we're able to see before the 8 because the venous scale now it starts after that uh, 7.9. Alright, so the 7.9 is the one that we're going to get, okay, as the leading from the main scale. Alright, I hope you've uh, tried to analyze as I was analyzing and understand that kind of analysis that we've employed for us to be able to get that now figure. So the number is 7. 0.9 centimeters okay so this is from the mini scale all right so let's come to the venous scale how do we get the digit from the venous scale so the digit from the venous scale we are going to look at a line that is going to coincide to the mini scale and the venous scale that is the digit that we're going to get so if you have checked nicely you will realize that there's a line there uh, which is coinciding from the mini scale and also the venous scale so when i mean coinciding i mean a line that you're going to find that it will cross. This is the venous scale and this is the many, the many scale. Okay, so this is the digit that we're going to get. All right. Okay, so like we are seeing from the, our diagram, uh, the, this one is, is the 1, then we have 2, 3, 4, 5. So the 5 is the one that is crossing. Okay, we are seeing that 5 is the one that is crossing. So the digit that we're going to get, it is 5. All right. So that 5 is the one that we're going to get. So now when you get to this 5, okay, when you get to this 5, it is the one that you need first. Before you add it to the many scale reading, you multiply it with the accuracy, which is 0 0.01 centimeters. Okay, so what we're going to have, we're going to have 0 0.05 centimeters. So these are the ones that we're going to add to this one plus that one. Okay, so let's try to add them. Okay, let's try to add them. We see what we're going to have. All right, so we are saying we have uh, 7.9, okay? So then we have um, 0 
5 okay so for you not to get confused you can easily add a 0 behind that 9 because a 0 will not change anything in this case so we're going to say 0 plus 5 we're going to have 5 0 plus 9 we're going to have 9 then we have a point there then we have 7 plus 0 we're going to have 7 so this is going to be our answer 7.95 centimeters okay 7.95 centimeters 7 point nine five centimeters okay that is going to be our answer so this is how we're going to find the answers or get the readings from the venia calipers all right let's come to our next question so the the, the, the next one is saying uh, light in words the si units of the following physical quantities and state their symbols so there are two things that we need to do. We need to write in words, then we state their uh, SI unit symbols. So for velocity, in words, what are the units for velocity? We know that it's meters per second. Okay. So here we need to write meters. Okay. Per second. All right. So like that, you write meters per second. What is the symbol for uh, this meters per second okay so the symbol for meters per second it's m then we put like that okay that is meters per second so that is the SI units for velocity okay we come to temperature temperature we know it's measured in kelvins okay kelvins so the word that we are going to put to light kelvin okay the symbol it is k all right we come to acceleration, so acceleration is meters per second squared, okay, meters per second squared, symbol it's m is squared there, okay, so those are some of the things that we are supposed to do, so I've said your velocity is meters per second, then uh, symbol it's m stroke s, okay, then temperature it is kelvins, symbol it is k accelerations it's meters per second squared symbol m stroke s squared okay so in some other terms for acceleration we can easily say meters per second per second you are not going to be long even if you put your answers like that all right because the squared it means that there is the per second per second okay so this is how this question was supposed to be answered now remember what is more important is you look for different questions based on the same topic so that you still remember these uh, figures that we're going to that we've been discussing. So this has been Tisha Kamanga with you. Thank you.